Mike at Lakeshore here with the Keystone Outback 342 CG toy hauler. This is going to be your orientation video up front here. So this is the 5.1 stabilization system. We have a total of nine buttons. How to, how to work this just real quick and easy. We do power, there's a light on, right? Power, extend, tongue jack. I could do retract, then I'm gonna do tongue jack. Goes down. Same with all the stabilizer jacks. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit extend right front. You can hear it, you can't see it. Two 30 pound LP tanks behind that. Your interstate marine grade long cycle battery behind that. Battery disconnect located right here. Additional solar plug right here. And your docking light switch, which are these lights and up top is right there um, on the bottom of the rock guard. All your vehicle information is gonna be right over here. Your VIN, tire and loading information. That's just a vent for the garage area. Okay, we are here at the docking station. So what we have here is your black tank flush. And then these just um, little turn valves here for dry camping, your power tank fill or your city water. So city water's down and then blue to the left, green to the left. Your fresh water fill, it's gonna be like that. And dry camping is gonna be like that. So lots of stuff through there. Um, also your, your satellite TV is in there. Back here, Nicole, we have your 50 amp power cord, 50 to 30 adapter, 30 to 15 adapter. Sewage hose, sprayer. Round to the back, we have your ladder, prepped for a backup camera. Back around to the front side, we have the dual entry, solid steps in the main entry. This here is your exhaust. This is your hot water heater. Okay, Nicole, uh, garage area. We have the bunks laid down, two bunks. Easy to put these up. Let me grab this strap here. Well, it's tight, but you want it tight. And then this one just pops up. These are those vents. So if you want some airflow, it's there. Two of them, floor there. Heat vent in here. If you want to put a television in here, you can. Garage door. That is your fire extinguisher. A couple of cabinets, open them up. Everything looks good. So this is gonna control your, your HVAC. Slide out, slide out, awning, ceiling lights, awning lights, and your night light, uh, your water pump, your fresh tank, your black tank heaters. Uh, these are just battery levels and tank levels. Uh, this is gonna be your tankless hot water heater control right down here. Coming into the main living part of the camper here, we have your trifold sofa sleeper. Of course, your booth dinette. These lights are all push lights. They're all controlled by pushing the button. This switch here controls the light down there, so the accent light. Of course, both sides of the booth are going to have that additional storage. 48 inch fireplace, 50 inch television, um, your Jensen sound system. This is also going to double as a CD player. Zone A is your inside sound. Zone B is your outside speakers. You can run them both at the same time or do an either or kind of thing. Fireplace does need electricity and right now we're running off battery. So we can look at that tomorrow though. Um, let's open all these drawers. Garbage can. Three burner stove top. And there we go. And then to run the oven, do like that. And then you just spark it. And sometimes you have to spark it more than you would think that you would have to, but 10 times, 15 times. Fan works, light, it's there. Fridge and freezer. Pantry storage next to it. Uh, below that is your fuse box. You will need fuses, 15s, a lot of 15s, and it looks like a 10, but always double check that. More storage here, pantry storage. Your bathroom, porcelain toilet, sink, uh, vanity, medicine cabinets, under the sink. Um, we did get that skylight in the shower repaired, of course, and your light switch and then the, your fan sorry is right here on this side king size bed three overhead mirrored cabinets closet 
three drawers, full drawer extensions on all drawers in this camper. And I'm gonna open this up. Under this is, I know your dogs are too big for it, but it's that pot kennel. And also, so on that garage door, and we're not gonna open it in the video, but we can open it tomorrow if you like, there are these extensions. So I don't remember if one of your dogs is maybe a little older where we could make that not such a steep incline, but that's what these are for. Oh, second AC. This is your controller for that AC. I think that's gonna conclude our video here. So thank you so much, Nicole, and we'll see you tomorrow.